in case you're new here, we've already done some CC tutorials on this channel. So if you've never, ever, ever, ever done CC at all, I'll link those videos in the description. Right, so like I mentioned, we've done um, recoloring, we've done retexturing, and I figured that in this video, we might want to give some fabric to our clothes. I do Sims 4 videos, mostly CC tutorials, reviews, speculation videos, and also like really weird videos. So like I did this one video where I told a story from the time that I went to a haunted house in like real life, and then I built that house in The Sims. But if you are interested in any of that, please subscribe to my channel. It really does help a lot in the YouTube world. As always, you will need the Sims 4 Studio and a photo editing software to even start thinking about making your own clothes in the Sims 4. Now, I will provide those links down in the description. First things first, open Sims 4 Studio, select CAS, and this will bring you to this mess of a catalog. For our first item, I decided to choose this dress. And I actually think this dress is pretty cute. And it'll be actually quite easy to work with as like a first sample because it is very bland. Now, once you have your item selected, always save it to your mods folder. Like, I mean, even if you don't save it to your mods folder during this step, you will eventually have to move it to your mods folder. Now our package is saved, but our image is not saved. So what we need to do is go get that image that we can then edit. Now make sure Diffuse is selected and click Export to save the image. You can save this image wherever you want. Once your photo is saved, open it in your photo editing software. And this is where the fun begins. Now, the first thing that I did is just some simple recoloring. I wanted the bottom part of the dress to be black and to give an illusion like it's a skirt. And in order to do that, I played around with contrast and exposure. And I also brought the saturation all the way down. Now, another thing that I wanted to do was to make the sleeves a little bit lighter because they were kind of this weird bluish color in an original texture. So once I've done that, I'm going to save it just to see um, what it'll look like in the Sims 4 Studio. So under texture category where we exported the image, right now I'm going to import the image. So click the import button. And this is our dress. Now, I was pretty satisfied with this, so I proceeded with adding Fabric Illusion. Now, firstly, um, I wanted to add this sort of glittery texture to the top part, like the shirt part. Um, and the way that I did that is through the noise filter that's called Hurl. Now, a lot of little dots give like this kind of glittery look. And in order for my top to look shinier, I decided to add bloom filter, but that wasn't shiny enough for me. So I actually went into sparkle filter and played around with that for a little bit as well. And lastly, I also added some soft glow filter and our glittery, magical, sparkling top is done. Now, for the bottom part, or the skirt, really, um, I wanted it to be a proper fabric pattern. So not quite like plaid, but kind of leaning towards that direction. Now, in order to do that, I actually went to filters, then render, then pattern, and then Linear sinu sinusoid, sinu it's S I N U S O I D. I don't know how to pronounce that, but go to that. 
And as you can see, this looks almost like one of those visual illusions that you can find on the internet. But I'm going to make it smaller and I'm going to put it on an angle a little bit. And I will also lower the opacity down so that it's not too overwhelming with just like this pattern. Once I've done that, and, uh, and this next thing is really, really easy. Uh, it's a very simple trick to make something look like it's fabric. So go to filters, then click artistic, and then apply canvas. Now I always bring down both depth and the opacity here, um, and it immediately looks like it's fabric. Now I will do pretty much the same thing for the belt area. I'm very satisfied with what I made here. So I'm just going to save it and again, import my new image into the Sims 4 Studio. And there it is, our patterned outfit. Now I'll go straight into the game just to see what it looks like. Here it is, as you can see, I also added several different swatches. Now I didn't want to record all that because I thought it might be a bit boring to watch. Um, if you don't know how to do recolors or any of that, like I said, I'd suggest you checking out my other videos. I did do one specifically on recoloring. So you can always go and check that out. Now, one outfit that really bothers me and that kind of actually started all of this is this outfit from City Living. Now look, I love this outfit, but I rarely find a way to actually use it because the colors and patterns are just really out there. I mean, they are great for some gameplay, but mostly I just, I can't use them. Hear me out here. Um, for this particular outfit, I'm actually going to select two different swatches to make one swatch of my own. The reason for that is that I want the bottom part, so pants, without any textures whatsoever. And I want the top part or the jacket really um, without any textures as well. And each of these original swatches all have some kind of images on them, some kind of crazy patterns and crazy textures, either on the top, on the bottom. There isn't like one bland one. So I'm just going to have to make my own bland one, my own blank one. So in order to select multiple swatches in like one package, you're simply going to select all the swatches that you can select all of them if you want. I'm just going to select these two and then click next. Again, save your package file to your mods folder. And right now under texture category, like each swatch is up there. You can see we have two swatches now and each of these swatches has their own texture. Now what I want to do here is I actually want to export both of them. Right, so export both swatches and open each image in a photo editing software. Right, so I want this top and I want these pants. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to simply make the pants black because this is the color that I had in mind for this. All right. I'm going to bring saturation and brightness down as well as increasing the contrast a little bit, but only a little bit for the shirt. I'm just going to make it white by lowering saturation and increasing brightness. Now for the jacket part, hmm. I'm going to need that other swatch that we opened. So now I'm going to go to that image that has um, bland top and then I'm going to select only top by using free select tool. Once I have it selected, I'll copy it and then paste it onto my original picture. Now I'm just going to drag it up just for it to match exactly where the jacket should be. 
Now, after I have it exactly where I want it or where it should be, because it should be exactly where it is, I will play around with the color a little bit just to get the color of the jacket exactly like the pants because I want them to match. I want them to be like suit. Now, uh, as always, I'm going to save it by clicking export and then I'm going to import it into the Sims 4 Studio. And this is just me checking if I like it in the Sims 4 Studio. Now to me, that already looks like a lot more reasonable outfit to be in the game. Now, I'm just going to go back and add some textures to it. Now, we already know how that's done. But first, I'm just going to create different layers. And I'm going to do that so that I don't have to constantly like free select different parts of the outfit in case I want to change something. That way, if I create different layers, I can just click on the different layer and change them exactly how I want to. It's a lot, a lot easier if you have it organized by different layers. So I have like the suit area. So the pants and the jacket as one layer. And then I have shirt, the top as a second layer. Now for the suit area, AKA just a regular pants and the jacket, I wanted it to be a regular fabric. And what do we do when we want a regular fabric? You already know, I apply canvas. Um, that's what I do. Um, look at how much difference this makes already. Like, and it's so simple. It's just this one filter. Now for the top, I wanted to go kind of like with the same what we done with the previous top, which is this glittery, sparkly texture. When it is turned into ASMR. Again, like I said, you already know this. Um, add some noise filter. I use hurl effect. Um, you can go and play around in different filters, such as sparkle filter bloom or even soft glow for this top i actually also used a little bit of um, linear motion blur not too much though just a little bit but just the side note linear motion blur can be really really good in making like metallic or even plastic textures uh, so if you guys want to to see want to learn how i make different textures like fabrics or whatever just let me know in the comments because I don't know if you guys want to watch that or not. So um, the input in the YouTube world is greatly appreciated. But once I'm done here, I'm just going to save the image and again, import it into the Sims 4 Studio. I'm actually quite happy with this one, but I need to go straight into the game to see if this is how it actually looks in the game. Always check your CC in game, especially if you want to share your CC with other people. It's very important that you make sure that it works in game. And there it is. This is our finished product, our finished outfit. I added some swatches for this one as well, as you can see. Now I went with pastel colors because I just thought they looked really, really cute. And I feel like we need more, well, lately we've been getting a lot more like subtle tones, but we didn't have them with the meshes from the city living. So this is why I went with them. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you learned something. Maybe you learned something about the Sims 4 or like the process of making like, well, well one part of the process of making clothes behind the scenes kind of, uh, 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 you know, let me know in the comments and like this video. Also, like, please click the subscribe button. Um, I cannot explain how much this means in the YouTube world. Also, my CC um, tutorial playlist will be linked in the description if you would like to learn more about CC. So I guess I will see you there or I will see you in my next video, or at least I hope so.